Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Bugs Life action game, which is... I'm worse than I remember, but honestly, it's about to get a uh, look up, because we're on the Ant Hill, which is the first official level of the game, and this is going to kickstart what the game is kind of all about. So let's go. Not everyone, we're still not there. Level 1, welcome to Ant Island. Find the entrance to the Ant Hill. Looks like, hey, you stayed past the training level. Great, nice to see you again. Yeah! Follow me! <sighs> Ant Island. So welcome to Ant Island, where we actually have places to explore now. Yay! We're back to the red berry, and we're back to only having the mushrooms to grow. There are a lot more enemies on this level, and just a lot more stuff in general. So, we got the Mega Homing Berry up there, and we've got a vine here. You can actually climb onto the vines and swing off of them, but it's very, very imprecise. Well, isn't this And as nice? far as I know, I don't think you ever really need to use them, so I'm going to avoid using them wherever I can. And I would encourage you to do just the same. Picking up grain here. And the grain is now far more scattered apart. Well, no, everything is far more here. scattered apart. We got seeds here that we can pick up around. This is Dot. She's in the movie. She's like, hey, follow me to the exit, but we're not going to the exit. <laughs> Alderaan. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to Alderaan. <laughs> nice thing about the butt bounce is it is very, very generous on what constitutes a hit. Like, I was not on top of the spider, but it still crushed him. These are mosquitoes. They are they are aerial enemies that fly around, but then they land when you get close to them, and they just try to walk slowly into you. Like, I don't think I was on top of him, but it still crushed him for me. This is a telescope. These will appear on the main levels, and they will show you different secrets of the level. So if we look at this one, it's going to show us the exit to the level, which is down that anthill. So that's where I need to go. What a beautiful day in my neighborhood. And Flick loves to talk, much like Buzz Lightyear did in the Toy Story 2 action game. So you can grow a mushroom here, and if you don't move the seed, you can still get up there, but it's a bit precise. You got, kind of got to get some momentum going before you start. This is a hornet, or a bee, or a wasp, I'm not really sure. I think they're technically bees. These guys are aerial enemies that will try to sting you if you get too close. You can take them out with a few berries, though. The letter L is up here on the <laughs> the offering plate, which is now empty. So apparently, everyone's like getting ready for like the spring recital, the day and they're like, so "Okay, nice. everyone's here." And Flick's like, "No, I want to try out to be in cats," and then that's why he's trying to get to the anthill. At least that's what I'm deriving from the movie's plot, uh, based on the clips that we've seen. There's another telescope here, and it shows us the golden berry. That could be useful. So the golden berry is a little tricky to get. Gotta get to the anthill. It requires you to explore quite a bit. Also, if we uh, get the camera out... I'm sorry, that's the wrong button. If we get the camera out... If there's a, is there a way to look up? <sighs> and I, okay, I want to look up, but it's not letting me. There's a blue token that's high up in the air, but it's way out of reach, even for the mushroom, so... We'll have to come back to that later. This is a very... Gucci acorn, I think? Well, isn't this nice? Oh, yeah! This is another item that can sometimes appear on the levels. And by that, I mean some levels have it, and it'll be in the same place every time. If you uh, press the fire button when in here... It's harvest time! This is another way you can permanently destroy enemies with the harvest machine. <gasps> the now, I'll be honest, I don't know how to use this thing. Like, I... I thought it's like you run into an enemy. The day started off so nice. And it can kill them, but no, that's not how that works. It's also pretty weak because even though I think you're invincible while you're using this and you can permanently destroy enemies with it somehow, don't know how, and the game FAQs online are not helping me out with this because there are like none written for this uh, game because it's kind of terrible. Uh, you also can't even jump while wearing this. If you jump, you exit out of it. So let's not use that. Eh. There's a homing berry up there. Kind of want that. Homing berry. 
Yeah. Nice thing about the another nice thing about the butt bounce is it can kind of prolong your aerial momentum for a bit, allowing you to get across slightly wider gaps than you could before. Keep that in mind. What a beautiful day in my neighborhood. So you saw it up over there when I was explaining the harvester machine. These are earthworms. Nice one. They pop out of the ground, and they can't be hurt by red berries, but I actually picked up the green berry first, Ooh, so we can kill them with the green berries. You can also kill them with blueberries or anything that's not a red berry, but the red berries will bounce harmlessly off of them. This is a uh, pre-grown plant. Some levels will have pre-grown plants on them. So this is like a tomato plant that spits out spike balls, which damage you if you touch them, and then gold balls, which will make you invinci invincible temporarily if you pick them up. Well, isn't this nice? <laughs> that was timed Picking perfectly. Up brain here. The invincibility is not amazing, but it, it can be helpful if you're oh, going yeah. up against some annoying enemies. Like, for example, the bee wasn't able to hurt me because I'm invincible. There are rope swings here. If you swing for long enough, you can hop up there without having to take the long way around, but it, uh, I'm not going to do that. These guys are pill bugs. They are also not affected by your red berries, so if you encounter one, the best thing to do is just butt stomp them. They don't move, so they're ideal to do that too. Good riddance. Cool, we can grow leaves. This is a blue token. Uh, the blue tokens will grow plants that will spit out temporary power-ups for you. So, we just got the ability to make the invincibility plant that you saw over there. This is the level 2 version of that. It spits out health for you, but also spits out spiked balls. So if you ever take damage, just grab a piece of health that it spits out, and you'll be good. So as you can see, we filled our HP up to full. That helps. And it only filled it up to full because we'd taken one damage. If you take a bunch of damage, you're going to need to get a bunch of health What a beautiful day in my Yep, Dot's like, hey, come on, go over here, you lack wit. <laughs> Berry. So this is unfortunately a berry downgrade, because now it no longer homes. But honestly, I'm okay with that, because this is an example of a level where there's a limited amount of berry power. So on the training level, we got the purple tokens, which gave us the ability to grow different berry plants. But on quite a few levels, like this one, there, is, there are a finite amount of berry power. So there's one super berry, one homing berry, one mega homing berry, and then one golden berry. Which means if you pick up the golden berry and then you accidentally pick up another berry power up, you don't get the golden berry ever again on this level unless you restart. So that's a big problem. So you want to pick up every berry power up before the gold berry power up. Gotta get to so that just to be safe. And some levels will not have every single berry power up. Some of them will not have the homing berries, for example. I can think of one that doesn't. Oh yeah. This way. Oh, apparently you can just and jump on enemies' heads, and that also works. Take that. Oh, yeah. The second blue token gives us the health plant that rain, we can rain, grow. Rain. That's a pretty nice plant to grow. And as you can see here, that's a brown slash orange token. It's, it's actually brown. I called it orange in the last video because the seeds are orange when you grow those plants, but they are brown tokens. So first, let's grow a mushroom here to get the second one of those. Now we can grow the tall leaf plant, do the well, mushroom bounce onto the tall leaf plant, and get the second brown token. Because you always start with the first brown token. And we get the mushroom upgraded to a propeller plant. The propeller plant is simultaneously a very useful and very annoying ability to use. So if we grow it, it makes this little propeller here. Let's, let's toss this plant. We don't need this anymore. So this basically makes a propeller, and if we jump into it, it will spin us and blow us up pretty darn high, even higher than the mushroom does, which allows us to reach out of place, out of the way places like this that the mushroom couldn't send us. Oh, yeah. Getting the third one of the uh, the green tokens gives us a plant like that, which gives us stepping uh, leaves. It's the same height as the level two, but you don't need an external platform in order to reach the top they of it, started which is off nice. So nicely. So, like, the top leaf is still at the same height that the second level would be, but now it provides other platforms that you can jump off of to get to the top, Fresh which air. is nice. So, we'll get more into why the propeller plant is annoying in a bit, but first we need to explore more. 
So if we wanted, we could just leave the level right now. But instead, what we want to do is hop over this fence. And the best way to do that is to climb up what to the top. Day and as you can see, the fence gets, um, it follows the slope down. So if we jump from the top and move down, we can actually get enough height to jump over it. Whereas if we just tried jumping over it like this, we wouldn't have enough height. Clever. Got a little mosquito over here and the eye. Ant Island. Three more pieces. Two more pieces of grain. My bad. Nice one. I don't know who's been making these footprints, but they are big. It's almost like a human's footprints. We are missing three pieces of grain, and I think I know where they are. Sweet. Yep, we're up there. Gotcha. Well, isn't this nice? So what we're going to do is, um, what you can do is you can actually pick up these pre-placed plants and throw them. The risky thing about doing that, though, is once you throw them, if you don't have the ability to grow them, you can't make them grow again. So for example, if we didn't already have the health plant, we would not be able to grow that same health plant again. So we spelled flick, we got the flick token. Nice. As you can see, the gold berry is over there, and that's a pretty far ah, ways away. The of there are actually two different ways to get it, though. One of which is, I believe, the way the game designers intended you to get it, requires you getting every single brown token on the level. The other way, you can cheese it with just three out of the four brown tokens. I'll be showing off the real way. And we got the grain token. Nice. Alright, so now that we have the propeller plant, what we're going to do is... Okay, sure. No. We're going to move this. And there we go. And I'll blow us up into the me mega homing berry. Again, not really going to help us, because we're going to get the gold berry pretty soon anyways. Fresh air. Because thankfully this level is reasonably short much shorter than the next level. I like the next level, but boy howdy is it complicated and large. And the day started off so nicely. So now you're about to see why the propeller plants are so annoying. So what we can do is, because this blows us, us upwards, it doesn't just blow us upwards, it can also Gotta blow seeds started. upwards, which means sometimes the game will want you to drop a seed onto the, a propeller plant and have it get blown up uh, a ledge. Seems pretty simple, but it's actually a fairly... It, it often requires you to do it precisely, and it's not a very precise movement. Which is a shame. And I just realized, I made this mistake the first time I played this uh, episode as well. So, is this enough? Nope. Even with the propeller... Oh, it is enough. Cool. Getting dizzy. So this unlocks the level 3 uh, uh, version of the blue plant, which is the most unique of the blue plants. If we grow it, instead of making a tomato, it creates this little watermelon shield for us. So this will, similarly to the level 1 power-up, make us invincible. However, whereas the level 1 power-up makes us invincible for like 10 seconds, this makes us invincible for a certain number of hits. So we can basically get hit by enemies, I think, five times without ever taking damage. So as you can see, I got hit by the worm there, and the shield is now darker. Also, depending on what your computer settings are, I believe sometimes this shield will be transparent. And I think that's the way it's supposed to be, because it's kind of weird not being able to see where, well, where Flick is going. Anyhow. The day started off so nicely. So now we're going to go on the quest to get the gold berry, which is a pretty involved fetch quest. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not working out. I, I'm going to... One, two... Oh, you can get hit three times with that shield without taking damage. Yeah, it's getting annoying not being able to see Flick. So let's go on the epic quest to get all the remaining brown tokens. So it requires us picking up a seed down here dropping it on the propeller, and making it hover over there. To get a little more horizontal distance with this, you want to kind of walk into the propeller and then drop it instead of just dropping it while standing still. It tends to go a bit far back when you do that. There is an orange token up on the top of this leaf up here. Bye -bye, buggy. <laughs> you can also drop seeds on enemies and it will also kill them. I forgot about that. Yeah, we can just use a propeller to get up there. This gives us a new plant, the dandelion plant. 
So this will create a dandelion, and if you know it, if you've seen the movie, you'll know what this does, actually. So what that basically does, it makes a dandelion plant grow. If you hop on it, it'll make you bounce up to the same height that a mushroom would, but whereas the mushroom just makes you bounce, this makes you bounce and then gives you a little dandelion fluff that you can hover with. Over here! And it doesn't give you a whole lot of horizontal distance because you're gradually dropping as you do it. But if you here, I'll show it off. Oh, so it grows this dandelion plant. If we hop on it. We can hover. Now, if you hover down a slope, you can actually go pretty darn far, but as you can see, it's not far enough to get that last brown token. You'll also notice that this doesn't launch us up as high as the propeller plant does. And you might be wondering, okay, how do I, what if I want to grow the propeller plant again? Well, while picking, while you're carrying a seed, if you press the jump what button, a beautiful day, my as you can see, it changed back to a mushroom. We do it again, change back to a propeller, do it again, changes back to a dandelion. And in the case of plants that you can't pick up, what you do is you get on top, do the meditation handstand, and then push the jump button. But for some reason, it doesn't work on the training level. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't work on the training level. Anyhow, this is a pretty precise drop. Walk a little bit, put in the propeller, all sweet. Just barely didn't fall off. It's very close to the edge, though. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up, we're going to drop it there, grow a dandelion plant, and now we're going to hover over to the token from the top of this. That'll give us enough yeah. height. And this gives us the level 4 version of the brown plant, which is the cannon plant. The cannon plant... So the cannon plant is, um... Very good. It launches you extremely high if you jump into it, but it doesn't launch anything but you. Also, something I forgot to mention is when you manually change the plant to an earlier plant that you got, it'll automatically change back after a short time, which is not amazing, but whatever. Bye bye, buddy. Anyhow, this is what I was trying to do. I was trying to go over there, pick up the invincibility plant, get its seed, and carry it over here. Actually, wait, I don't even have to do that. I can just do this. Oh, wait a second. I still need Okay. So the way you can cheese this is you would have to get both the invincibility plant seed and the health plant seed, which right now it's all the way back up there. It's the dandelion that I used to fly over to get the cannon seed. And you can use a propeller, blow the seed up here, drop the seed here, use the dandelion to float down and get the gold berry. What the game wants you to do is get the cannon plant, hit this, create the cannon plant, and then jump inside of it. Tricky. I can do some damage with this. And now Red let's can. destroy everything for America. Yeah. Get out of here, bees. I don't care if you are helpful to the environment. You sting me, you go down. The day started off so nicely. <laughs> you've said you've said that. Gotcha. <laughs> I basically just like to go through the level and just chuck these berries everywhere. Because of the slight homing ability, they actually tend to hit most fans that yeah, you do or don't aim at. The one things you gotta watch out for on this level though are the worms, because you actually do have to get close to them in order to make them spawn. You'll know the worms are gonna spawn because the, there's a rain of rocks, where there is not normally a rain of rocks. Ant For example, Island. if we walk up here, you can see a mysterious rain of rocks. That means a worm is there. Ah, ah. Ooh, gonna leave us Get out of here. Oh yeah. So if you don't, for those of you who didn't know about the whole fence fan, jumping over the fence to get up there, you can also use this, but it's very imprecise. I don't oh, recommend yeah. that. Get out of here! Whoop! That helps. Follow me! Yeah! Oh yeah! Apparently, I killed an ant over yeah. the fence, or not an ant, a spider. I'm okay with this. <sighs> the life of an ant. All right, four enemies left. Oh, I hope they're all over this fence. I don't want to backtrack any more than I already have had to. Oh yeah! I think so. There's the mosquito over here. I hope there's like free gotcha. spiders over here. 
and the day started off so there are left to leave it. Cool, 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 cool. <gasps> that helps. Nice. Follow me. Let's go to the anthill. <laughs> Getting dizzy. Flick will actually continue spinning. Fresh air. Um, he will continue spinning for as long as you don't jump, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah! Never too much grain. F L I K spells flick. That's me. Well, all right. Also, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there will ever be more than 50 enemies on one level. Oh yeah! Congratulations, another bonus movie clip awarded! You know, this is why you really want to get 100% in video games. So you can get little, high, sh very short, low resolution, low sound quality clips from a movie that you probably already own if you're playing the game anyways. Okay. And of course you only get the most important ones. Like this clip of Flick using his machine. Which it doesn't tell you how to do in the game. Yep, that's important. I'm glad that's the movie clip we got. Yeah. Artie won. It's funny because Artie did win. The next level is tunnels. We go into the ant hill, we gotta make our way through the tunnels to get to the other ants. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you for the next episode. The next level is kind of annoying, but also kind of awesome. But look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.